Hey everyone, my name is Royce Varner. I'm a creative based out of Los Angeles and I'm here to show you how I use KineMaster to help create content for myself and my clients. Let's get started. KineMaster is a free and fantastic video editing app made for Android and iOS users. So let's fire that app up and let's check it out. If you have yet to download the KineMaster app, make sure to click the link in the description below and download it. As you open up KineMaster, you'll find yourself with a menu of options to choose from. If you want to start a new project, simply tap the Create New button and you'll find a variety of aspect ratios to choose from. If you want to see your projects, tap See All and all of your current projects will be on display for you. Now moving forward, let me show you the KineMaster Asset Store. The KineMaster Asset Store is a one-stop spot for all types of assets, effects, transitions, stickers, music, and so, so much more. Let me show you my favorite feature this app has to offer, Git Projects. Git projects are ready-made video templates that take video editing to the next level. With these ready-made templates, the Git projects feature allow you to remix, replace, and add on different elements to help you create your own unique videos. Git projects features a variety of video templates to choose from, and I ultimately decided to choose comedy. This cover change video really sparks my attention. I say let's download it. Cool. We have the template downloaded now. It appears we'll find it in my projects. Let's go find it. Nice, there it is. Oh, there's a few required assets we have to download before we can edit. Let's just click okay and then download all. As we wait a moment, isn't this Git Projects feature just super simple and easy? I really appreciate it. Okay, let's allow access, let's import this footage and let's get to editing. Let's go. Welcome to the editing screen. Scrolling through, you'll find all the different elements this video template has in place already. Personally, I want to add my own effects to this video. Let me delete these current ones. To delete effects, tap on them to highlight them, then tap the trash icon to delete them. I also want to exchange these current stickers for different ones. Let me follow the same guidelines I did for the effects. Tap on the sticker to highlight it, then tap the trash can to delete it. These sound clips actually work really well. So I think I'm going to keep them. Honestly, I like the current state of my project. So now I'm gonna import some footage I recorded. I placed those clips under this KineMaster folder which I created. Here I'm just tapping the clips that I wanna insert onto the timeline. Now that my footage is on the timeline, I should probably go back and delete the previous clips already in place. I honestly could have done that a few steps prior, but that's okay. All I have to do is now just delete these last clips and then I can start editing mines. Cool, now that that's done, I realize my clips are too long. Let me tap on speed and turn the dial to 1.7. This will help me stay within the time of the original video. I'm going to do this on each clip so I make sure my video is smooth and seamless. After adjusting the speed, it's time to work on the first cover change. The transition is a simple jump cut, so no special effects are needed. All I have to do is time the cover swing perfectly between each other. All I'm doing here is highlighting each clip and adjusting them to my liking. I'm going to continue playing around with each clip until the timing is just right. I think this looks good. Let's give it a playback and see what it looks like. Whoa, that looks pretty cool. I'm pretty satisfied with this transition, so let's work on the next cover change. I'm going to apply the same steps as before by highlighting, then adjusting each clip to my liking. KineMaster makes this super fun and easy to do. All I have to do is play around with the clips and make sure each cover change happens seamlessly. Just a few more adjustments and I think this cover change is right about finished. Let's watch it on a playback. That looks amazing, but my audio clip isn't long enough. I'm gonna highlight it and make it longer. Everything is looking great, but the audio from my takes are messing with the music clip. From here, I'm going to simply highlight each take, tap on mixer, and tap on the sound icon to mute the original audio. Make sure to mute each clip so the mixing between the audio and the video are perfect. There we go. This video is turning out to look really cool. 
Now I need to adjust these sound effects so they mix perfectly with the video. I'm going to hold down and drag the sound effects to the middle of each cover change. I think it'll give the video an extra layer of awesomeness. To fully utilize the sound effect, make sure to line the audio spike up in the middle of the transition. It'll make the sound and video mix perfectly. Wow, that looks and sounds fantastic. Now all I want to do is add some stickers and effects for fun and then we'll be finished. I'm simply going to tap on layer and then sticker and I'm going to choose from Bokeh 2. I like how the Bokeh 2 stickers look so I'm going to choose this one. Now I'm going to adjust the sticker size to make sure it fits the video as well as the duration length of it. After playing with the sticker a few more times, I ultimately decided to make it the size of the whole video. I want to add another Bokeh 2 sticker to my next transition, so I'm going to follow the same guidelines as before. I like these gold sparkles, I'm going to go with this one. As previously done, I'm going to adjust the sticker size to make sure it fits the video as well as the duration length of it. I think it's lined up pretty well. Let's give it a playback and see what it looks like. That looks really cool, but I want it to be a little bit smoother. I'm gonna add animations to the sticker. I want the sticker to fade in and fade out. I'm gonna tap on the sticker, cycle between in and out animation, and select fade. I'm going to adjust the sticker just a little bit more. Let's see what it looks like. That looks cool. I also added two more stickers as well, but you already know how to do that. So let's get an effect off the KineMaster Asset Store. Since I'm moving and grooving in between outfits, I think the wiggle effect will complement this video pretty well. Now that we have the effect downloaded, let's apply it. Tap on layer, select effect, and let's insert the wiggle. First things first, we have to adjust the length of the effect so that it fits the video. I don't want the effect to be too harsh, so I'm quickly going to adjust the opacity to 50. Before we finish and export this video, the finishing touch to this video will be a pan and zoom. For the beginning clip, I want the pan and zoom to be zoomed in from the starting position. And as for the ending clip, I want the pan and zoom to be zoomed in from the ending position. Everything is finished and ready to go. Now it's time to export this masterpiece. Simply click the save and share button in the top right corner. KineMaster has a variety of resolution and frame rate export options. I shot my video in 1080p, 60 frames per second. So I'm gonna export as that. Simply click save as video, wait for it to finish, and there you have it. <laughs> And that is how you make fun and awesome videos from the comfort of your own home using KineMaster. See you guys next time.